Hi everyone. We're going to go over um, installing some of our uh, the two new shields from your home for our lasers. We've got the fixed focus and we have the adjustable focus. The adjustable focus is the one with the longer um, back plate and the fixed focus is the one with the shorter one. It's actually very, very simple. It's the same process on both lasers. But we're going to walk through each one. So on your laser, you're going to notice down here you've got four places to put screws. One here, 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 and here. And what we're going to do is this plate, if you look here, this is the front of it where the label is. And the plate is going to go on the back. So if you can see, it's going to go on like that. And what we're going to do is the two screw holes, and then you have two little black screws. And what I like to do first, um, this is just me personally, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. I like to just make sure the screws are going to go in the holes. Make sure that they're threaded ahead of time. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put it where it's supposed to go. Go ahead and screw it in. It's probably going to be a little tight for you the first time. And then most of the way, and then just back it back out. And do the same thing for both back screws, just the back holes, not all four, just the back ones. And I'm going to move this over for just a second here. And then I find the easiest way to do this is to take the screw, put it on my little screwdriver, put it in the hole, and then kind of lay it on its side like that and put it right in there and then flat and you're going to want to do it till it's snug i'm telling you do not over tighten this at all this is just a thin piece of acrylic if you over tighten this at all it's going to crack on you so there's no need to because there's really not much movement uh, there's movement but not much that way to loosen it so basically as you see i got the one screw in then i'll do, pull this other one up here and i'll put this other screw in it's a little hard for me to do with this angle but I will try it, whoops, put it in the hole, I can find it, and then screw it in there, and just till it starts to snug, once it starts to snug, I'm done, um, that's all you need to do, I mean, like you do not want to over tighten, um, I'm telling you, so that's, that's the hardest part right there, make sure it's on the back, you're good, flush, everybody can see that. You can see there, let me make sure everybody understands. It's the same thing across all the lasers, including this one here, which we will still do. And then basically what you're gonna do is this, you're gonna have the screw up top. You wanna to, want to screw towards the top of the laser. So when you're looking at it, you're gonna want the screw hole towards the top, and you're gonna notice that it has a little, um, little bow to it. And what you're going to do is you're going to try and get this on the last track here. It's going to be on the last track, right? You see the laser, then you see the track, and that's where this is going to slide up. So you see little notches here on, they're going to actually slide up. I'm going to click this one and then flip it over and kind of, I like to use my thumb a little bit and kind of push it up a little bit. Don't push it up in hard. Push it up in a little bit just to get it on there, there, and then there, so before I push it, I'm gonna make sure it's on the last one. Flip it over, it's on the last one, if you can see that. It's on the last one there, it's on the last one there. I got the back plate on there, I'm good. Now I'm gonna slide this up, pull it up. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna screw it in, just a little bit, just till it starts. That's all you gotta do, just till it starts. And then you're gonna slide it, let me show you the best way to show you that here. You can see this here. Probably this way. Slide it down. So basically what you're gonna do now is when you put it on your material, you're gonna put it down and then you're gonna lower this down just almost even with the back plate, if you will. You can see that. And then you're just gonna snug this up. That's it, again, just snug. And if you notice, it doesn't really move. There's no, there's no, Nothing, it moves around, but there's nothing that it jars it. So that's pretty much the extent of it. That's all you gotta do. Um, again, this is for the fixed focus. And that's it. And when you're done your material, whatever, you just unloosen it a little bit and you slide this up out of the way. And um, you do, you know, your, your stuff. 
Same thing for the fix or yeah, for the uh, the adjustable focus. Exact same process. Um, it might be a little bit tougher because you have a longer shield here, but um, this one especially, I would recommend first and foremost putting the screw in the bottom holes. Let me show you again here. This one you've got the bottom back there and the bottom back there. And those are the two that we're gonna use here and here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. So I like to put the screw in there. So this one here, as you can see, I'm putting it in that hole there. And as I'm going in now, it's really tight because I've not put one in here before. This is a, a, a brand new laser head. So I'm just pushing in as I do it. So I'm not sure, I'm just pushing in, pushing in, pushing in, pushing as I turn it. And you see it's a little tight. And then I'm gonna back it back out. So now that it's threaded, I don't have to force it or be really hard with it with the plastic piece because this will break easy. As you can see, there's a, you know, fragile ends on it. So let's go ahead and now do the exact same thing I did with the other one. Let's put the screw through it. Just put it in here. I have to see it real quick if you can see that. And I'm just gonna put it in a little bit. I'm not gonna tighten it hard. I'm gonna just put it on loose, like loose, like it's barely snug. You see that? It's barely snug, but it's on there. But be careful with it. So now I'm gonna just lay this flat. I'm gonna get my other screw here. And I'm going to pull this up and I'm gonna put this one, same thing, this is when I just ran it in. See now how easy it goes in because I've already ran it in. Because you don't wanna force it while you have this on here because this will break easily. So that's why I like to put the screw in first so that it's now it's just easy, snug. It's how easy it was it before I had to force it, but not with this on there, which is good, so. And again there, now this one's a little bit tighter, which is fine. Don't want to crack it, so a little snug, and it's on there good. Be very, very careful. This is going to be very delicate. So there's that. If you nobody can see that. And there's the back. You see the side, really easy. And then same thing. Let's put the shield. You see here, same thing, there's that back slot right there, we wanna go there, and on that side, right there. Same thing, the, here's, here's the top part, the nut goes up, and we're gonna like, again, I like to just kinda of hold it like this and kinda of, kind of push it open a little bit when you're trying to do it, like get it in there. It's, uh, be very careful with this one because that's a long shield. Maybe put one end on first. Whoops, let's take it back off, let's take my time here. Don't want to break it. And then put it on there. As you can see, I have this one on that back part there. And then this one on this one. And then again, just slide it up. And then let's put this in here to just snug. And then I'm gonna back it back off a little bit. And that is it. Slide it down till it's about flush, if you can see that. And then just again, snug this in. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's how you do it. That's both of the lasers. And I hope, um, oops, hope everybody can understand that pretty well. There they go. And that is that. Pretty simple to do. I'd like to give a shout out to Alvin for sending these to everybody for free. For the existing customers, that was very, very nice and generous of him. And then we spent a lot of money and got actually hundreds of these in uh, for free for our existing customers. So uh, a big thank you and a shout out to Alvin for doing that for all of our customers. And that's exactly why we're your home customers because of the uh, support and the dedication we have to our existing customers. So happy burning. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to let us know and have a great day. Jungle.